How's it going, everybody? Legion Dev here, bringing you another tutorial video. Uh, this one we are going to be doing Arc Survival Ascension here on Windows. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser. We're going to Google search Steam CMD here. Just going to click on the first link. And then we're going to click on Windows right here. And then we're going to click on this little one icon right here. And this will go ahead and download it for us. Click on this folder, open it up. Then we're going to right click and extract the files from Renoir. Uh, if you don't have it, that's okay. You should still have an option to extract. Then we're going to control X on this file here. Go to my C drive, create a new folder. We're gonna call it servers. Enter, we're gonna go into that and then we're gonna paste it. And then we're gonna open this up and then we're going to initialize the Steam CMD right here. All right, now that's initialized. What we're going to do is I'm going to go back and we'll create a new folder. We'll call it ASA. Hit enter. And we're going to open it up. And I'm going to click in here and then copy this field. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do force underscore install underscore DIR for directory. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to add in the uh, trailing uh, slash there. I'm going to hit enter. And then we're going to do login anonymous. And then we're going to need the app ID, which I already have pulled up right here. Uh, a lot of people actually ask me where I get the app IDs from. And uh, SteamDB is where you get the app IDs from. So there you go. A lot of people do ask me that. So that solves that. All right, so now we're going to do app underscore update. If I can spell it correctly. And then the app ID, and then we're going to do validate at the end of that. Hit enter, and we're going to wait for it to download all the files. All right, now that that is done, we can go ahead and exit out of this just by typing in exit. All right, and then we have all the files right here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is create a startup script. So we're going to go to the desktop, create a new file, new text document here. We'll call it ASA start. And then we're going to change this from .txt to .bat. By the way, if you don't see the .dot extensions when you uh, got to rename something, go ahead and yes, on that. You're going to want to go to view. And then um, file name extensions right here. All right, so once we got that in, we're going to hit edit on this. And here's our blank canvas. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be pasting some code in here. However, uh, I will have this down in the description below for you guys to uh, be able to copy it and then paste it yourselves. So first, we're going to make sure everything is in here correctly. So ours is called server, so I'm just going to add an S to this. Then we're going to go ahead and under session name, this is the name of the server. So we'll change that, make it whatever you want. Same thing with admin password, make that whatever you want. And then for the rest of the stuff, um, if you want to increase the, your player limit, you do that here. And if you want your server to have battle life protection, just remove this. If you're not worried about battle log, you can just leave this in here and your server will not be battle log protected. Once that's done, we're just going to hit save. And then we can go ahead and close that out. Then if we go ahead and start this, what this script will do, by the way, I almost forgot, is it will update the server every time you start it. And then it will actually start the server. So if we just double click on that, it's going to verify the files. All right, now that all the files are verified, you can see it uh, went ahead and started the server. So while that's booting up, what we need to do is open up the ports in our firewall. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to click the start menu here. I'm going to type in firewall. We're going to click on this one right here. Then we are going to go to inbound rules. Click on new rule. Click on port. Click on next. For UDP. Click on UDP and then for the ports, 
We're going to do 7777 through 7778. And I'm just going to copy this for the naming convention later. Click on next. Make sure it's on the live connection, which is by default, so you shouldn't have to change that. Everything just leave as default under name. I'm just going to do the same thing as the port. I'm going to do UDP so I know what it is right off the bat. I don't have to open it up and look at it. And click on finish. Then we're going to do, do this again. Go to port, UDP, and we're going to do 27015. Again, I'm going to copy it, click next on all this stuff, paste that in, UDP, and click finish, and we got one more to do. So we'll do new rule, port, we're going to leave it on TCP this time, and we're going to do 27020. You don't want to copy this. Next on all this stuff, for the name, for the port, and then I'm adding TCP at the end of this one since this is a TCP port. And then I'm going to hit finish. And that is all the ports that we need for the Arc server. If we're only hosting one server, again, I'm not doing anything too complicated. I'm not in here showing you guys how to cluster servers or anything. It's just your standard server. What you can't cluster right now is only one map. All right, and that's it. Uh, your server is up and running. Uh, your firewall is good to go. However, if you want people to play from outside of your network, basically meaning anybody outside of your house to come and play with you, you will need a port for via your router. Since everybody's router is different, I tend not to go over this process just because it's different for everybody. It looks a little different. Same concept everywhere, but it just looks a little different. Uh, nine times out of ten, though, if you just look up what kind of router you have, I'm sure you can find a video of it on YouTube already on how to pull forward using that router. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.